Yo, what's up guys? So if you aren't aware, last night the 1.1 English version of the special live stream for Honkai Star Row happened and we got a lot of new information. This is just a quick video to summarize everything that was announced in that trailer. In case you're a bit too lazy and can't be bothered to watch the full 30 minutes, I don't blame you. So first off, we have the Silver Wolf banner, which we knew was coming, but we've got the four stars, which is Dan Hung, Asta, and Saval. This is a very free-to-play friendly banner in terms of four stars. I cannot deny that. It is not a bad banner at all. They spoke about her skills and what she does, and obviously most of the community, we already know what she does. She's not a bad character at all, and these four stars do make her banner a little bit more enticing. We also got her Light Cone, Brilliant Fixation. Obviously, that's going to be on the run-up with her, and it looks like she's the first banner as well from the date that they mentioned on the post. Now for the main event, you already know if you saw last video, we are going for Lo Cha. And along with that, I got what I wanted, which is Yu Kong is on his banner. And if you guys also know, if you've been keeping up with my World Simulated videos, I run Pila. I love Pila. I have her E4. So this banner is absolutely perfect for me. I will be pulling on this banner. Not even a question. Lo Cha is going to be the second banner in the patch, along with his Light Cone, Echoes of the Coffin, and some four-star ones as well. Now let's get into actually why you're here, which is events. We've got a free temple over seven login days, as long as you do it during this patch. Just, or I believe, yeah, I believe it's this one is going to be running for the whole 1.1 update. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what they said. Um, just to be on the safe side, do log in for the first week and just get it. Why not? It's a free temple specifically for the limited run banner, which is amazing. It's free. I'll take that. Hell yeah, it's going towards low charm, man. Eh? There's going to be a Silver Wolf based event featuring the character Skrulem, and you're gonna get a free light cone in this event, which is a four star and a hilly, and it's gonna coincidentally be good for Silver Wolf herself. We've seen it with Genshin, they normally do this type of stuff, but will also be good for other Nihility characters as well. The second event is gonna be in the new area that we're getting, which is the Bellabog History Museum. You're gonna be able to help run and customize the museum and upgrade it, basically. And this event specifically. We are going to get some self-modeling resin, which if you know, the only way to get one right now is through the battle pass. So this is a big, big, big dub. Do not miss out on this event as self-modeling resin is really helpful to get your relics sorted out. Then we've got the Stellar Flare event. This is just a battle event. I'm not even going to go into it, the detail. It's literally just a battle event. You know, it'll explain it when it comes out. The battle events are pretty straightforward usually. So look forward to that. It's nice, plain and simple, like the battle event we currently have going in the Fighting Coliseum. Then we've got the event Garden of Plenty. Again, if you're a Genshin player, if you're not, what this event normally is, is the Golden Calyxes and the Crimson Calyxes will have double drop rewards for X amount of times per day. So normally it's three times per day you can get double drops, but they didn't exactly say how many times per day it's going to be for this event, for Honkai Star Row. Maybe it'll be more, hopefully, maybe four. I'd really appreciate that, but look forward to that. It's going to be double drops, which is going to help you with your resources. And the final event we'll be getting is a lab assistance in position. You help out this little girl. I wasn't really paying attention to it. I just saw rewards. So there you go. And you get destruction rewards in this one, which is really good if you're saving for blade and you don't have a destruction character yet. And the final, final extra thing we're getting is we're getting four companion missions. So it looks like we're not getting a story quest this patch, which is fine because we're literally getting four companion missions for Lo Cha, Silver Wolf, Yan Ching, and Bai Lu. We are also going to be getting three quality of life updates. That is when you're looking for material for a character that you need to farm for your mats to ascend and traces and stuff. You can literally just search where they're going to be and the game will tell you where each enemy is on each map. And you can literally go through every map instead of sitting there hunting for the correct enemy for that one map you're after. It'll literally tell you which enemies to fight. I don't know about you guys, but I just clear out all the maps anyway. I mean, it's not hard to do. There's auto battle. The second one is sometimes random trotters will spawn in battles now, which is really cool because there was only one per map before, or like every other map. But now they're going to randomly spawn. If you kill them quickly, you get extra mats, which is really good. And they're adding the friend chat function as well. And that is everything in the 1.1 patch that was announced. There are the codes as well. If you want to see those, if you head over to Honkai Star Rail's official Twitter, they have posted all four codes. I believe there's only a limited time to use them. So please make sure you do that. It's 400 gems. It's free. All right, then I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.